Yo, what's up guys? Joey here. How's it going? We're going to be building another PC today. Today's budget is $1,000. Many of you guys requested that price point, so that's why I'm going with $1,000. So if I had to build a PC for $1,000, these are the parts I would go with. Guys, right now I am aware that GPU prices have... GPU prices right now have just totally skyrocketed. It's crazy, mostly due to GPU miners, I would say. The card I have right now, the card we're going with in this build, it's a GTX 1070 Ti. But right now, Newegg... I'm gonna show you guys on my phone. Not only Newegg, Amazon too. This card is going for, so this is the mini right here, right guys? And it's in stock, but it's going for $900 and that's for a used one and a thousand, over a thousand dollars. That's just with a 1070 Ti. It's crazy guys. Pretty much right now, if you wanna buy a GPU, it's very hard. Right now, I recommend for you not to buy a GPU. The date is currently January the 22nd. Many other tech YouTubers have made videos addressing like what's going on. I will link some down below. Jay's Two Cents just made a pretty cool video. I just watched it. So yeah, to build a PC, you pretty much need seven parts, right? And this part, the most important part, the GPU, what actually allows you to play games at high FPS. Yeah, right now, that GPUs are just, I almost feel like doing a video, going to the stores and just seeing, I went to Fry's Electronics, all the GPUs were out of stock. The only GPU that was in stock was a GTX 1050. That's it, that was it. Oh, and an RX 550, not even a 560, 550s were there. So yeah, before going into this build, I just wanted to address that issue. It will not last forever. Eventually, prices will come down to what they're supposed to be. In fact, Nvidia's new graphics cards are like coming out this year, Volta. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, if the issues wasn't going on, this is what I would go with. $450 is what you should pay for this card. And pretty much all the other components for our PC build, they're not affected. It's just the GPUs. So the motherboard's already right here in front of me. Might as well start with this one. AM4 motherboard. So it's gonna be a Ryzen build once again. Guys, I will do Intel builds, all right? I will do Intel builds in the future. Because like I said, this is the best value, the best bang for the buck for a $1,000 price point, all right? And that's why I chose to go at Ryzen. All right, all right, all right. This motherboard looks sick. It has some cool red LEDs. I've done builds with this motherboard before too. You'll see what I'm talking about when I build the PC. It's a B350 chipset. I got myself a little pop figure. This is obviously not a PC component, but we're gonna be putting that in there just for aesthetics. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Where'd my cell phone go? Okay guys, so here I have my components in front of me. This is our storage. Hey, this build's actually gonna have an SSD now because, well, come on, it's a thousand dollar build. You gotta have an SSD. Cause all my other budget builds only had hard drives, you know, just to cut costs. But yeah, this one's gonna have an SSD, so this is gonna be a sweetie build. All right, guys, so before I tell you guys the prices of what each of these cost and why I picked the parts, I just wanted to let you guys know, because you guys are always asking me like, oh, why is the price high? And like, sometimes prices go up, sometimes prices go down. Prices always fluctuate with PC parts on Amazon, so just keep that in mind. It's usually just by a little bit. Sometimes it's by a lot, like with the GPU, but that's because right now, you know, there's issues. So let's just get our storage out of the way. One terabyte WD blue hard drive. I put that in almost every build. That's gonna be a storage for our games and for our operating system and our programs, we're gonna be installing it on our SSD. So Windows 10 is gonna be installed on here. That means our system's gonna boot up a lot faster. SSDs are a lot faster than hard drives. But I'm sure you guys already know that. So this is a 120 gigabyte SSD. And right now it's going for $63. I paid, I paid 50 bucks for it, as you can see right here. The hard drive, I won't even bring it up, you guys know, one terabyte WD hard drive, 50 bucks. So the case we went with is the Cooler Master. You guys can see it right here, it's right here under me. Pretty dope case. It has tempered glass on the side. It has three front 120 millimeter RGB fans. It's pretty much the Masterbox Lite 3.1 that I used in my previous build. That's a micro ATX case, this is an ATX case, so it's a little bit bigger. But yep, that's the case we went with. That case is going for $70 right now. There's also a rebate. I paid $70 for it. So for our power supply, I went with the EVGA 550 watt power supply. This power supply is currently going for $64, but I'm pretty sure I got this for cheaper. Oh yeah, I got this power supply for 60 bucks, so a little bit cheaper. So this is a good quality power supply. It's bronze rated. It's 550 watts. Even with a 500 watt power supply, that'd be enough for our GTX 1070 Ti. But when picking out the parts for this build, I wanted it to be kind of future proof. So in the future, if you want to upgrade to a beefier graphics card, like a 1080 Ti, which is the top of the line right now, or maybe by then Volta is probably going to be out. You'll probably upgrade to a Volta card. And I could have saved some money and got a power supply that wasn't bronze. The only reason why I went with the bronze was actually because aesthetics. The cables, they're um, they're black all the way through, so this one doesn't have the ketchup and mustard cables that, you know, when they're different colors. And for our processor, I went with the Ryzen 5 6600X. This is a six core CPU, so it's a great choice for streaming or editing. I paid 200 bucks for it, and right now it's going for 
200 bucks. So for all the other PC builds I've done, I usually go with ballistic RAM. It's usually rated at 2400, but this one's actually 2666 RAM, so it's a little bit faster. I did that because for this build, we have a higher budget and we're going with a more beefy graphics card, the 1070 Ti than usual, the other budget builds. And our last part is the motherboard. I just checked Amazon. Right now, this motherboard's going for $100, but that's kind of high. Usually you can find it for cheaper. I got it on Newegg for 80 bucks, as you can see right here. And I almost forgot. I'm gonna be putting in RGB LEDs in this build. I got my little kit right here. So the final price, I will go ahead and list it up on the screen right now, the final price of this build. But if my math is correct, it should be under $1,100. So within the $1,000 price point, very close to a thousand. All right, so let's build this thing. But if you haven't built a PC before, I've done full PC build guides, which shows you how to do everything from start to finish, everything guys. Those will be linked in the video description. This will not be a super in-depth guide. In fact, it's not even a guide. I'm just gonna build this PC and then speed it up and overlay some tunes over it. But then of course, after I will be testing out the games, showing you guys the settings and see how much FPS this build produces. All right guys, let's build this thing. About trust, it could hurt my love, y'all. But you really got the choice, but have some. We all fall down, never getting used to feeling numb. It's getting not to overcome some knowledge to be free from this gun. One shot, and I'm down. Oh, I know that all is gonna fall, never learn from it all. Like a fastball in motion, I'm open. I thought that we had it all, now I'm broken and start And I'm scared of it all, no joking Oh, no joking Oh, I thought that we had it all, now I'm broken Currently working on our next PC build It's gonna have a $1,000 budget Guys, this was a little sneak peek Who knows how long it's gonna take me to edit Discovering her does Don't really have a choice but try on We all fall down Never getting used to spite up All the times I have a lost love Getting not to overcome someone wrong And I'm down Oh, I know that all is my fault Never learn from it all Like a fastball in motion I'm hoping I thought that we had it all Now I'm broken well guys we're pretty much done all that's left now is we just need to install the gpu and then i'm gonna put in the deadpool figure da, 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 what is this drivers or programs to overclock your gpu you can download those online here it is it's the gtx 50 ti mini let's get this thing could you guys see that is it focusing real nice on that look at it it's clean man and it has a pretty dope looking back plate there it is i have it upside down doesn't cover it completely but still looks good this is a 2016 summer convention exclusive so this is the tape i use it's 3m tape double-sided and it's really strong Okay, so I decided to just put them facing straight up and pretty close to the glass, but not too close. So you can really see them. So this is tempered glass right here, guys. This is quality. Let's choose clear. Oh, fancy. They're not synced up, are they? No, 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 they're not, see? So these are controlled with the PC, inside the PC on your desktop with the MSI program. I'm just gonna leave it that, that's like clear, just white. LED. Man, it looks awesome! So right now I'm playing GTA 5 at 1080p resolution and it's almost nearly maxed out. I'll show you guys the settings right now. Graphics right here, as you can see, it's nearly maxed out. MSA A is at times 4, that's what really kills your FPS. It could go even up to 8, but then that'll really kill our FPS. Everything else is set to pretty much very high times 8. Our soft shadows NVIDIA. If I went too fast, just pause the settings. Also, before this, I updated the motherboard's BIOS to the newest version. And everything seems to be going pretty well. 97% Oh, I crashed. Our Ryzen 5 1600 is a 6 core processor, so it's only chill. It's chilling at 40% when playing GTA 5. So I'll just show you guys a quick explosion with these settings. 
FPS is solid. I usually play the games all at 1080p, but this is a more beefier graphics card, so I also wanna test out other resolutions. This right here is a 144 hertz monitor, a 1080p monitor, I made a video on it. But using the GeForce Experience program, I'm able to upscale it to 4K, even though I'm using a 1080p monitor. So yeah, when I'm in the program, I'll just go to my game, details, click, click that little tool resolution and bump it up to 4K resolution, apply. Yup, MSA is off now and everything else is pretty much the same. And this is the performance you get. So yeah, during explosions, the, it holds up. The FPS holds up well. It stays in the 60s, but the lowest it dropped to was in the high 40s. And that's when a lot of crazy stuff was going on. So let me go ahead and just show you guys that. There we go, there's our first drop, 50 something. But still, still more than playable and it's in 4K guys. And if you want more FPS, oh, I'm sorry lady. You can always lower your settings, of course. Oh my, it hit the girl, I'm sorry. Be careful lady, get out of here, it's dangerous. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> we gotta jump out of this, jump out of it. Oh my God, <laughs> how did I not die right there? Okay guys, so we're not playing some Rainbow Six Siege. Overall quality, I just set it to the ultra presets. This is a 144 Hertz monitor. So our display is at 144 hertz, and there's my dead body. But our FPS is like right where we want it. So if you wanted to play Rainbow Six Siege on a 144 hertz monitor, the GTX 70 Ti would be a great choice of a graphics card to do that. Like the FPS is very solid. Oh, it's so smooth. Okay, we're, we're at 160, 150 FPS. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Yes, I got a kill. Next game, ultra quality, perfect for a 144 hertz monitor with a 1070 Ti. Oh, look what I got. What? I, come on. Oh, I got two. Oh, no, I can Oh, they got a high new. No! All right, guys, we're playing Battlefield 1 now. I have the settings on the ultra preset, so the game is maxed out. We're playing, of course, a 64 player lobby, 1080p resolution. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now on this little map. This is this is how I like to test Battlefield 1. Like, look at that. That's how we test Battlefield 1. I'm a medic, so I got to rescue the homies. I can fix your wounds. Oh, we're taking it. We're taking it. We're taking it. Go, go, go. Push up, team. Push up, push up. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone just got blown the up. I got him. I got him. I got you guys. Get back in. Get back in there. Get back in there. Oh, I just revived four people. Come on. Come on. Reload. There you go. I got it. I got it. I'm getting everyone. I'm getting everyone. Never mind. All right. We're playing. 60, 80. I'll be back. Yo, what's up, bro? I just need to test out two more games and then we'll bounce, all right? FPS is really solid, man. If, if any of you guys have played Rise of the Tomb Raider, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, the sensitivity is too high. But I'm trying to control it. I gotta, I gotta turn down the sensitivity. I love this game though, guys. It's beautiful. This is one thriller of a game. Surprise. What? I was shot into the chest. Go oh, kill my friends! No, you fast! Do these guys not see me? Oh, yeah, they can. Alright, that's Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last game, PUBG. No, I want to play like um one quick game and then, uh, yeah, I just, I'm testing out a PC, so could you invite me? Oh my god, can you at least have a mic in? No, I'm not going to have a mic. I'm sorry, sir. What? Cause it's not hooked up to the PC. <laughs> All right, man, let's make it a good one. All right, I'll try. Here we go. Peace out. I'll see you on the far side. All right. Hopefully it switches the settings. It applies it, right? It applies it, right? I don't have to restart the game. Yeah, it looks like it applied it. All right, I'll play at high settings. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Oh God. Oh man, we could have died right there. <laughs> that bike would have hit him. Yes, sir. Noise, dude. <laughs> well, here's a good place to test out the FPS. Looks very nice. 
I like it. <laughs> Oh, Jelly just headshotted someone with the car. Oh, why do I have my pistol out? Got him. Yeah, let's go. Move. Look. No. Come on, you stupid. Ah. No! No, we didn't. Why are you saying that? Yeah, we lost. <laughs> well, it was a good game. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for future PC builds. If you watch till the end, you already know you're the real MVP. I appreciate the support. I've pretty much done a build with every single graphics card that's out right now, except the GTX 1080, but really, yeah, wow, I've done a build with every single graphics card. Oh, except Vega GPUs. But yeah, guys, keep hitting me with those video ideas. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>